How good is the 3060 Ti here in 2023? Let's find out. It was released at the end of 2020 and it features eight gigs of VRAM. Now the version we're testing today actually came out a little later than that and it has the GDDR6X version of the VRAM. We're gonna put it to the test with all the games you know and love today here in 2023. In this benchmark, we tested with the Ryzen 7 5800X and 32 gigs of RAM at 3600 megahertz. In Warzone 2.0 at 1440p, we tested it with no upscaling technology on the ultra preset settings and we got around 75 to 80 fps when we turned on dlss the fps jumped up to about 115 to 130 it fluctuated a little bit at 1080p we ran it both ways again with no upscaling we got around 115 to 120 fps and with dlss we got around 130 to 140 in halo infinite a pretty demanding game here in 2023 at 1440p on the medium preset settings with no upscaling because halo doesn't have it we got 110 to 120 fps and at 1080p with the same medium preset settings, we got 140 to 160. It's pretty good for Halo Infinite. In Apex Legends at 1440p with max style settings, we got around 130 to 140 FPS. Pretty smooth for 1440p. And when we dropped it down to 1080p, we got over 200 FPS. Now, Fortnite's the crazy game, but it's everybody's favorite battle royale. We tried it at 1440p on DX12, and we tried a bunch of different settings. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this geometry setting really kills your FPS, so you definitely never want to put that on there it made the game super jittery and completely unplayable we tried all epic settings for a while but again not very playable with the geometry on but with dx12 with the view distance on epic and everything else on medium we did have a pretty playable experience with over 200 fps with some drops down to the 150s every now and then because you know it's fortnite at 1080p on dx12 we did the same thing got the same results for the most part i will say 1080p was much more playable on the epic settings as long as you have the geometry turned off but the most smooth and playable experience was when the view distance was turned up and everything else was on about medium as a bonus here just for fun we tried fortnite in 4k on performance mode just to see what it would do and we got around 200 fps to 240 fps it was kind of surprising though to see that uh you got way over that at 1440p and 1080p so i just wanted to try it for fun and i thought you might want to know now to stress the card out a little bit more we did red dead redemption 2 at 1440p on the medium to ultra settings we got 73 fps and at 1080p with the the same preset settings we got around 92 fps cyberpunk 2077 at 1440p with no ray tracing no upscaling we got around 58 fps so you could obviously do some upscaling to get that to a playable at 60 but we also tried 1440p with ray tracing and dlss on the ultra preset settings we got 53 fps again you could tweak settings and get 60 if you really want it at 1080p with no ray tracing no upscaling we got 88 fps and with the ray tracing on the balance dlss settings we got 60 68 FPS. Now, this card costs around $330 right now if you get the GDDR6X version, but there's not a whole lot of difference in performance if you just get the regular GDDR6 version, and it's about $60 cheaper. If you're interested in any of these, I have links down in the description. They are affiliate links, so if this is a GPU you want, check those out. But if you don't want NVIDIA, here's an AMD GPU I think you'll like.